Hey yo, my planet coaster friends! Johnny5 Alive here and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today, we're gonna be looking at Frodenberg, created by Batch, one of our Discord builders and Diamond patrons. Thank you so much for your tremendous support. This is also called Joy's Peak Micro Park. And here they say, good googly moogly. Hey Johnny Orzel, this is my first park. It's so small, I don't know if I can call it a park, but it has all that it needs. I hate to say there's no custom music or TMTK, uh, which I love to use. Hey, I'm quite okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> but the coaster um, Sontag's Farher Sunday Driver was built for a coaster exploration coaster challenge by Benutzer name. Uh, in, a, in addition, I challenged myself to build it under a week. Took five days, whole park, pretty proud of it, but it's recognizable. The park uses all my first blueprints and I did a lot of copy pasting. Nevertheless, it is not recognizable when riding the coaster. Trivia park info from the workshop. The park is placed on a mountaintop, which is called Frudenberg Joy's Peak, a popular excursion destination for the whole family that likes to relax and get some adrenaline kicks uh, on the mountain of the transfer side of the gondola to the town to the foot of the mountain. The town is only a dummy and will be visited with the mini exploration coaster. Coasters are uh, Sant uh, Santangs for her. <laughs> Sorry, I butchered it. Uh, get on the motorbike for a Joe ride down the Alp Mountain, Joy's Peak. Master these serpentines. Enjoy the Alpine Village, Valley of the Lakes, and get your destination to the town on foot of the mountain. Or maybe go further to other places never been. Naren fought Jester's Ride. Like the name says, only a Jester will ride it. Brakes have been removed from this downhill coaster because where's the fun in that? <laughs> oh, cool. Well, this is very interesting. So it's like a mini park with two main attractions taking you through the, uh, I guess these wonderful mountains. So this should be a, a pretty short episode, but also a very exhilarating one as we're going to be riding two phenomenal coasters. So everybody stay tuned and let's Let's get right on into it. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all doing wonderful today. <clears throat> Here we go. We are at the Frudenberg Joy's Peak Park Spotlight. Big shout out to um, Batch for supporting the show. Big Diamond Patron. Really appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the show as well and get Priority Spotlight, we are showing all the patrons. Every time I do creations, I always go for the patrons first. So there's a special submission form just for those patrons, and that gives them priority to the show. Or if you guys just like to support the show because you'll enjoy all the content that we make here, you could do so by checking out the Patreon page. Links are down in the description below. And if you uh, don't have any way to support us, you don't have any monetary way to support us, please do check out our second channel, Channel 5 Live, as well as our Twitch stream. You could drop a follow and a sub over on those two new channels. And we got a lot of content rolling out on Twitch and the second channel. So go check them out, you guys. Really appreciate the support. So here we are. Yep, as he said, the uh, the park is a little bit of a joke or something, and that uh, there's not much to see, and the coaster is going to do the job there. So, best in track view, most intense, alternate seat view, enjoy, have fun. Uh, built for the Exploration Coaster Contest by Benutzernam. Very cool. Shout out to Benutzernam. Go check out his YouTube channel, you guys. Does uh, Planet Coaster as well. So there's the uh, Sontags for her. <laughs> and there's a look at the stats. 4,000 meters. Exploration Coaster for sure. Green across the board. Green across the board. Um, pause. Woo. We're going track view as requested by the creator. Let's check it out.
Holy Toledos, that was freaking amazing and very unexpected. Definitely the best, well, that's not a Typhoon Barkest. <laughs> well, the best motorcycle ride in Planet Coaster that I've ever seen and a very unique and interesting uh, exploration coaster at that. I thought it was gonna be all in the Alps and around the mountains and boy, did it surprise me with that second half of the coaster, going through the city and uh, underground with the rainbow road and going through the rings. Um, it started off very much like a downhill slope coaster and then it just kicked off into something completely different. And I love that surprise, that element and a surprise is just fantastic shout out to um all these creators as well yeah look at all this everybody's names are on the road that's fun thunderbud johnny and zell look at that maurice wixie bagball chopper zippaku sammy ray very fun very fun oh what's it say here shout out to all the awesomeness in the community i did not forget the rest of you i'm just lazy as <laughs> that is fine Okay, um, there's another one, I think. No, that's the Ferris wheel. He did say that there's a second coaster or maybe that's the gondola, I don't know. Maybe we should uh, check the gondola, at least like give it like a little, a little bit of a ride. Oh, crap. All right, never mind. Um, there's a thousand gondolas on this. We'll just like simulate it. Oh, there we go. Wait a second, where are you coming from? Right beside us. Good thing I didn't leave. Wait a second. It's nestled in the back corner here. Yeah, that's uh, for sure easy to miss. Boo -doo -doo. Oh, I love these like mini mouse cart ones uh, going down big mountains like this. This is going to be very exciting. Um, no brakes. No brakes. Wow. 1,200 meters, no brakes, 70 miles per hour on this wild mouse. Let's get it. Um, I'll cut to it when it's ready. Um, track view or seat view, preferred at night. I kind of want to do the seat view so we get the terrifying experience, but we might get some flailing arms, but like it'll simulate that rickety bucket like the best. So let's try it out. I <laughs> could googly moogly. That was freaking amazing. So much so that I have to switch it to daytime and give this a ride in cinematic. I, I saw those mouse carts just flying by and I want to see that in cinematic. Totally. Let's give this another go. Oh, wait, that one's taking off. Here we go.
That was freaking wild. <laughs> My freaking god, that is so cool. We we gotta see this. Okay, speed it up. Wait, no, that's that's not the one. Okay, here. I wanna I wanna just give you guys an understanding of how fast this is. 80 miles an hour in a freaking wild bus. The most in I'm surprised that the guests are even riding this. Watch how fast this thing goes. I don't even know if I'll be able to keep up with it. Or wait, 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 wait. One more ride. And um okay, this this is this wait, what? Oh interesting. It's a three car thingy. But they're so far apart because they're just like flying that they can't keep up. We need to do orbit view. Yes, because now I can just follow it and you could just see how fast it's going okay let's check this out like this is just remarkable <laughs> sploosh this thing is a zipping woohoo Oh my god, more people need to do this. This is so much fun. This coaster, man. I like it more than the other one, and the other one had so much work gone into it. It's just something I've never seen before. These frick, this is one wild mouse, I'll tell you that. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's so much fun. Look at that. Oh. Wow, so much fun. Well, that is the park at the top there. There's like a, like a little city down here, but that's all just for the eye of the viewer going on the exploration coaster. And then, you know, this, this is stunning visuals though. Look at the dam there. I love that. Um, and then you had this whole underground thing that you did. Uh, faster camera. Yeah, there it is. This was a big surprise to me. I didn't expect half of this stuff in here. It was really quite crazy uh, what you did down here. And then the Rainbow Road stuff just threw me for a surprise. Kind of reminded me of the Rainbow Road thing that we just played in uh, It Takes Two not too long ago on stream. Give me some uh, memories. Somebody needs to make an It Takes Two park or coaster experience. Please do that. Please. So, I mean, a very small park spotlight, kind of like a dual coaster spotlight, kind of a coaster spot, a coaster bundle, if anything. But there is a park here, so I think it, it passes. Um, if it was just the one coaster, I would have said, why didn't you submit this as a coaster spotlight? I mean, it, it was for an exploration coaster contest. So in theory, I think you got the wrong submission, but we'll count this as a park spotlight here today. I think it's just fine. I want to give an additional shout out, one more shout out to Batch for his diamond patron support. Really do appreciate it. Um, very cool. And uh, this submission was very fun. I really enjoyed both of these coasters thoroughly. That exploration coaster was a phenomenal. Really cool bike ride. I love everything about this. This was a great time. Super fun time. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below for Batch. And uh, that's going to do it for me in today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.